Hi, welcome to the Eternal Spirit Show. I'm Paul Salmon, I'm a psychic medium, and my guest today is Joe Barnard, holistic practitioner, writer, and teacher. Yes, hello, Joe. hello Paul. That's Lovely a mouthful, isn't it? It was, yeah. I had to get it all in there, see. <laughs> Lovely to meet you from yeah. Essex, yes. my old stomping ground. Yeah, yeah. But you won't go into that now. Okay. Um, I believe you, you had a life change, one of those moments when you discovered Reiki. How did that come about? Yes, um, my career was very much in marketing, um, mm. and although I've always been very interested in holistic living and practices, um, it was never anything that I'd ever considered really doing or getting heavily involved right. in. Um, and I went along to, it was a pamper evening locally, and at the time I had a dreadful migraine coming on. Mm. Um, funnily enough, I'd just taken a book out of the library on Reiki because I knew nothing about it. I yeah. thought, I'll read this. Hadn't got around to reading it. Went for this Reiki treatment. There was just one slot left, Reiki. Yep, yeah, I'll give that a go. And I could literally feel, it felt like steam was releasing from my head. It was something really incredible. Mm. And this late, lovely lady, Nina, wasn't even touching me. And I thought, I've got to know about this. I've got to... Learn and once about you get it. hooked into something, yeah. that's it, isn't it? It was a real kind of awakening. Yeah. Um, so I got in touch with Nina the following day and said, how do I learn about this? And she said, well, you know, come along. Um, we'll book in for a course. So I did the first course, um, the first level, and found that amazing. Um, sent a text round to friends and family, does anyone mm. want to be a guinea pig? Mm. And lo and behold, by the time I'd done my second course, I went for my second course, I'd done about 50 treatments, which was... Nina was, that's unheard of, it, mm. it, it seemed to be coming to me and it was seemed to be meant to be, so that was, set me on a totally different path. Yeah. So where did you go from there? Um, I was practising really as a, as a hobby, yeah. so maybe one or two evenings a week I had people coming and, you know, really enjoyed it and we went on holiday one year and I just thought, you know what, what I'm doing no longer fulfils me in the mm. way that this, this does and... Um, took a leap of faith really and we're very fortunate that we have a it was a detached double garage separate from the house and we converted that into a, a lovely clinic that's your clinic that's yeah. my clinic um yeah and it just took off from took there. off yeah yeah um, not on a big scale you know no, it's not a big to, operation but it's yeah. it's lovely it ticks along and it's it's lovely but from there you've got a list as so long as you are uh, tell us what you're qualified in yeah um Indian head massage, which yeah. works very well with Reiki, um, aromatherapy, mm -hmm. uh, Swedish massage, um, meditation, crystal, crystal crystals, healing. yeah. I've crystals. not had anyone on here yet who can tell me about crystals. Yeah, I love involving, yeah, I love involving crystals into the treatments. I was going to ask you, so can you combine a bit of each element for the yes. whatever the patient needs or yeah, client? That's exactly the way that I like to work. Rather yeah. than people coming along and saying, I want to Reiki or I want a massage, yeah. when they actually come along, um, we have a good old chit chat about their life, their health, their well being yeah. and and I like to tailor make it yeah. to, you know, what what they're looking for and what they need. I imagine you must have an understanding family then with all these qualifications yes, all yes. these activities yeah, you're into yeah i'm very lucky i've got a very supportive husband john yeah um who very much lets me do my own thing which is is lovely so there's no pressure from him um but it's it's difficult juggling you know i'm mm. a wife i'm a mum i'm mm. a daughter i'm a sister i'm a friend and it's mm. and a businesswoman and it's, and juggling those so the marketing things. has gone out it's gone now <clears throat> that's in the past well it, it's it's not so much in the past because my last job was with a company I did their uh, newsletter for them I, I was the editor of the newsletter okay. and so I I have taken all of those skills and use really use them within my own business but talking about something that I yeah, really love yeah you can market your own yeah, business yeah, yeah. excellent yeah. now you have a I must say it's a wonderful website thank you I, I do admire that um, and it's what's it you it's it's you time my you company's time. you time but it's you hyphen time yeah yeah and it's it's is it, how would you say it, who's it dedicated to the people who don't have enough time for themselves that's really i've kind of put out an intention that i want people to come along who are prepared to take responsibility for their well-being mm. um they don't want to just be fixed mm. um but they maybe need a helping hand um perhaps 
stress, depression, mm. uh, illness, cancer, um, various different things, you know, various different different um, people I work with. Mm. Um, but it's, it's really nice working together rather than I'm going to fix you yeah. or you know anything unhealthy it's 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 very much working as a team mm. and it's lovely when people will invest time in themselves because it's so important i don't think people do much do they i've learned over the years that people give time to others but the last person they give time to is themselves mm. yes and, and um, i think it's very common now for ladies to get their i mean obviously we all get our hair cut and things like that yeah. but frequently hair nails the external mm. and really rarely invest time on that just being and being well, in touch. You mentioned ladies. Do you get any men clients? I do. You do? Yes, I do Do have men clients as well. Yeah. Um, less men than women, but I do yeah. do have male clients. Yeah. Yeah. What I like about your website, it's so informative. It, it encompasses everything you're qualified in, mm. but you list workshops as well. You have yes. testimonials on your mm-hmm. um, website yeah. and little video clips as well. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about the video clips. Um, well, I decided I, I like the idea of interacting. I like people coming to a site and actually seeing who you are and what you're about, what you can offer. Mm. Um, it's something that I'd like to do more of. I'm quite new at doing that, yeah. really. I just bought myself a little flip camera and I've done a few videos for myself and that's mm. as far as it's gone, but um, it's something I'd like to do more of. Excellent. Yeah. Well, you could put a link to our show on your... I will certainly do that. I'd love to. Website. Yeah. yeah. And... Um, <laughs> You've written a book. Mm-hmm. Now, let's let's hold the book up to the camera. Where are we? This one there, if you can. Yeah. That's called Meditation Made Simple. Yes. Now, is meditation a big part of your life? It is a very big part of my life. It's um, really when I was I began teaching Reiki. So mm. from practicing, I then went on to to teach Mm -hmm. and a big part of the essence of Reiki is actually meditation and I decided that as well as teaching Reiki I also wanted to teach meditation Mm -hmm. beginners workshops introductions to meditation uh, really for finding coping mechanisms um, tools really Mm -hmm. tools to de-stress so yes I ran loads of these meditation workshops, people that weren't necessarily spiritual or mm. spiritually minded came along and, and I could see the benefit was huge. Yeah. Really the, um, the essence of meditation, the goal of meditation is to train, learn to train our minds to work in our best interest as an mm. ally rather than all of this negative stuff that oh you shouldn't do that or you mustn't do that or you better mm. not do that in case that happens mm. and oh do you remember what happened last time you, you know the mind's constantly working and it can really take over it's it's so powerful so in your book do you have exercises how to meditate mm. yes the book is it's an interactive book so it's almost like a workshop mm. whereby i talk about the the benefits of meditation expel the myths you know what is meditation what what is it not you know it doesn't have to be about religion it doesn't have to be about sitting in the lotus position Mm. it can be practiced by anyone it's just a matter of finding a technique that works for for the individual yeah Yeah. because we're all so different so um yes the the book gives then goes on to give six or seven different exercises and you can make notes as you as you go along and how long did it take to write I didn't, my intention was never to sit down and write a book as Mm. such. It really evolved from the workshops and the content that came from the workshops. So it it kind of happened naturally. It did, very naturally, yes. Because you are a writer as well. Yes. And you have articles on your website as well. Yeah. Do you write for other magazines? I write for, um, I write for Soul and Spirit Magazine's website. So I submit articles to them Mm. quite frequently. Um, on their their blog, yeah. I write my own blog as well on my site, yeah. um, and also the odd. I've just written a, an article for Kindred Spirit magazine you, on yeah. Reiki as an intuitive path, how yeah. it enhances your intuition. So, and uh, one day a week is dedicated to my writing. Yeah, but your whole life is encompassed by all this, isn't it? Yes, yes, so. yes. My my whole life is very much about people well-being yeah. and sharing communicating yeah 
As we are now. As we are now. And who's the book yes. published? Let's give it a plug. Who's it yes. published by? It's published by Balboa Press, who are a division of Hay House there right. in the States. And it can be bought on Amazon, I believe. It can be bought on Amazon, in any bookshop, um, any website, yeah. on my website or on the Balboa website. I'm interested in your workshops. So do you do mm. these at your clinic or do, do you go out and about as well? I tend to do them from my clinic and yeah. I like to work at the moment with small groups, quite intimate groups, because I think then you provide quite a safe, sacred space for people to feel very comfortable. Mm. Um, and yeah, I find it a real privilege to, to run these groups. Um, and it's the interesting thing about group work is you never know what mix of energy you're going to get. You never know what different people are going to bring. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the workshops are fun. And so I run workshops on meditation, um, using meditation on how to move forward positively with your life, uh, aromatherapy workshops. Um, Yes. And, and is this all you, or do you this is employ all me. others? It's no, just it's you. all me. Yeah, yeah. I do lots of things, but I do a little bit of lots of right. things. So, if someone came to you for they're not feeling too good, yeah. do they come specifically for one treatment, or like Reiki or crystal healing, mm. or do you give them what you think is best for that person? It really depends on the individual. Some people will phone up and say this is my problem, what do you suggest? Mm. And I might say, well, this is my initial idea, why don't you come along, have a chat, and we'll see. And we can, for example, somebody might have back problems, neck problems. Mm. So the obvious one is massage for that area. Yeah. Um, but we can incorporate essential oils that are good for relaxing the muscles. We can incorporate actually massaging with crystal stones which get really deep into that's the muscles. That's a new one that's, to me, Joe. It's quite a new one to tell me, me as well. Because I saw you brought some crystals along. Yeah, I love... Can I you tell love... me what, what you do with these? <laughs> yeah, well crystals, um, like we do, and like anything, carries a, a, a specific vibration. Um, and they're wonderful at absorbing negative energies and mm. also vibrating along with you, so working with you. So depending on the type of crystal, they can be grounding, they can be healing, they can mm. e encourage you to love yourself more. They're lovely tools to go alongside with mm. other, other things. And when you talk about crystals vibrating, that sounds weird, but when you think about a quartz watch, yeah. it's powered by the vibration. It's energy, of a, isn't it? Yeah. Another quartz. word for energy, maybe. Exactly, yeah, energy. And of course, everything has energy in it, yeah. e everything living, mm. everything natural, even things that aren't natural have energy. Yeah, they do. Um, so, right, so you've got Swedish massage, Indian head massage, yeah. you name it, you do it. But are there some things that you want to develop or go into which you haven't done yet to explore? Um, an area that, <clears throat> excuse me, I mean, I do, uh, I do also um, do readings and work with cards for oh, you do. divination yeah. and incorporate that if people are open to it. Yeah. Um, one thing that I would like to look into more is working with spirit guides. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that I feel that I'm being drawn towards now. So I think, again, it will be a natural progression um, but really I'm happy with with the way that the clinic's going I don't want that to be my full-time job I don't want writing to be my full-time mm. job I don't want workshops to be you know I love mm. the mix of, of elements yeah and do you go out to see individuals as well or do, must they all come to your clinic I tend not to unless somebody was unwell and couldn't yeah, get to me then I would certainly yeah, yeah. consider going so to where, where do you see yourself in a couple of years time <clears throat> I think I'd like to um, work with a magazine or on a magazine or mm. maybe something more to do with publishing. Mm. Um, I see that as being a, yeah. a, a progression, I hope. Um, I don't have a, a specific vision of where I'll be. No. I think I'm very open. I put my intentions out there and I just let things evolve, mm. see what opportunities come up. You know, I don't know where the book's going to, no. to lead. Go with the flow type of thing. Go with the flow. And I think I definitely want to share that message of meditation and how wonderful it is, yeah. how life-changing it can be. I want to really put that out there further afield. Right. 
And I believe you work with a friend of mine called Sheila Kunti. Yes, yes. Sheila, Sheila is a, a, a writing buddy. Yeah. Um, she's a lovely, dear friend of mine. We get together every Wednesday and that's our day to... We're doing our own thing. We're not working on mm. projects together. But we, you know, what's, what are you doing today? This is what I'm doing. We'll yeah. get down and really do some serious writing. Yeah. Then we'll have lunch and chat about it and review. And mm. um, it's just lovely to share that because it can be very lonely um, writing, yeah. obviously. And you, yeah. you need an element of that. But it's lovely to be able to share that with someone else. Yeah, but it's funny how, like, you mentioned her. And it's a small world in a way. It is. Because, it, like, we know... I know people you know yes. and you have to be careful what you say, don't you? Exactly, yeah, everyone <laughs> will never say anything nasty. So is your husband involved in all this no. or does he just support you? He supports me and lets me get on with it. Yeah. It's not his thing at all, but he, you know, he's a very loving, supportive person. Um, yeah. let, let's give a plug to your website. We haven't mm. mentioned, well, we mentioned it. It's yes. www. U dash time dot com. So it's you hyphen time dot right. com. Okay. And you like to get into the psychic awareness sort of. Do you go to Spiritualist Church? No, I don't. You don't. No. But again, I work, you know, with, with Sheena. Like, yeah. You know, Sheena's very. Yeah. Uh, sits in circle and, yeah. um, and so we'll do stuff together, but um, yeah. it's just something that I feel I'd like to, yeah. to develop. So a bit more. Yeah. Okay. And if you've got a message for anyone out there, what would it be? Really, to take responsibility for your own life. How do you want your life to be? Yeah. If you don't feel you can do it on your own, reach out for some mm. help. But ultimately, yeah. the responsibility lies with you. Yeah. Because I think we can all blame the economy, we can blame the politicians, we can blame the weather, we can blame the mm. health service. Mm. Um, or put all of our faith in a doctor, the doctor makes me better. You know, it's let's take responsibility for yeah. ourselves ultimately. Yeah. And uh, I think have, that would be. Before we leave, have you got like a little case study you could, without naming mm. names or anything, like someone who's benefited by coming to <clears> see you? Well, one lady springs to mind, she came to me yesterday, and obviously I won't mention her, yeah. but. Um, She's a very poorly, she has renal failure, she has chronic diabetes, she's very poorly, she's on the transplant list or waiting for transplant. Mm. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and she actually comes to me for Reiki before her, <clears throat> excuse me, be before her blood tests are due. Mm. And actually she's found that Reiki, a Reiki treatment will change her blood tests which stops her then having to go on to dialysis so it prevents her from okay. going on to dialysis so although I have huge faith in the process it's lovely to be able to share that kind of definite story with yeah. with people that oh yeah yeah excellent yeah Jo, it's been wonderful having you as my guest. The time has just flown by. It has though, flown. It? it feels like about 10 minutes. Have we covered everything in, a, in what we can in such a short time? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure we could go on for longer, but yeah, it's been, been a pleasure right. to meet you and chat um, with you. Jo's website is www.u-time.com .com. Or if you want to know about, more about Jo, look at her website or contact me here at the Eternal Spirit Show on felixtoe.co.uk. Thanks again, Joe. Thank you, Paul. Probably stay in touch. I might sure actually pay will. a visit to your clinic. You will, yeah. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Cheerio care. and goodbye. Um.